What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new AEW Supreme Collection review on the Walmart exclusive AEW Supreme Collection Kenny Omega figure. Now this figure is one that I have been very, very excited to get my hands on, man. It seemed like everybody and their mom was getting their hands on this figure and I'm just sitting there like a jackass and I can't find it anywhere and I can't secure the figure. But lo and behold, I got a hold of a link yesterday and I went and checked my area and lo and behold, it, it said it was at my, at my Walmart right beside my house. So I go to the Walmart. Nothing's there, of course. But then online, it said that I could pick it up in store, so I did that option, and then it appeared at my door. So I don't know what the hell's going on with that. I ordered two of them. Only one of them came, and then it said another one was going to be delivered later to the day. Didn't happen, so I don't know what the hell's going on with this, but it is Walmart exclusive. As you guys can see by the sticker right here that's ripped. I need to get my hands on like eight of these, so I, I, I need to find them. I gotta find them. Parts, head sculpts, all the different things, bells and whistles this figure has going on. I'm excited for it, man. As as you guys can see, Kenny Omega, the Supreme Collection is on fire. Definitely my favorite stuff that Jazzwares puts out. These figures are top of the line. I enjoy every single release so far. And you guys know I love the packaging right here, man. It's massive packaging, Supreme Collection up here. Again, it is Walmart exclusive, so you do get a little Walmart sticker there. I don't care that it's ripped. I'm going to be opening it here in the review anyway, but you guys know that you have the like AEW entrance stage right there. Kenny Omega at the bottom, and then one of the cool features of the AEW figures is on the side. It features all of the different accessories that you get in here. You get jeans with this guy instead of a separate gear. And then on the flip side, we have this leather jacket and arms, similar to like an Ultimate Edition Fiend. And then we get a cloth good shirt. And then if you guys are wondering, it says Series 2 3B. So that's pretty cool right there with a shot of Omega. I'm so excited for this figure, man. I, I mean, it cannot be overstated. This figure looks beautiful. I cannot wait to get my hands on this guy, crack him out of the packaging. But if you guys are unaware, Kenny Omega is probably my favorite wrestler outside of WWE. So, uh, I'm, I'm hyped for this. I love Kenny Omega. I love his figures. I like collecting his figures. MDT Elite Champion right here, baby. Gotta get him back in an MDT football ring, but let's shut the hell up. Crack the cleaner out of the packaging. Find out what this guy's all about. Put him on the rotating base and get into the Supreme Collection review. So here's Kenny Omega out of his packaging, man. Really enjoying the figure thus far. You know, I, I love Supreme Collection. I think that it really ties into action figure surgery and a lot of things we've been doing on the channel way before Supremes were even thought of and stuff like that, man. The action figure surgeries, the fixing up, the taking figures apart, putting them with other figures, they have sort of created these figures in the ability to be, you know, plug and play, you know, and that's how Jazzwares has been from the beginning, which is something that I've always tipped the cap to, because I think it allows for so many more things, man. It makes figure collecting so much more fun. I think it really allows people to buy multiples of figures, too. I think that helps out with their business model, and while it does face some things that are problematic, I think overall it is a really good thing, and I think other companies will follow suit in short time, and I think we could see more of this two-in-one style figure coming to fruition. I, I mean, we've already kind of seen it in other ways with interchange head sculpts and stuff like that so i'm hyped for this figure man it looks beautiful i'm having a lot of fun with it let's shut the hell up and dive into the accessories you get with the supreme collection walmart exclusive kenny and then we'll dive into the figure itself all right, man, so being a Supreme Collection figure, you get a whole ish ton with this Kenny Omega. You don't get as many head sculpts with this guy, and you don't get two wrestling gears, but you do get a badass wrestling gear, and then you get some street gear, and a lot of interchangeability that I think is really great here. I'm loving all these accessories, and we do have some new stuff going on, so let's take you through them. Now, first things first, you do get an AEW Championship, something we've seen so many times before, but I do like that he includes the championship. I think it looks really good men on card and stuff, and you, you get a bonus championship. We've seen this a lot of times. You know, it's the main championship you're going to continue to get it but I like it I'm all here for an AEW championship what would an AEW figure be without the blessed AEW microphone man it's an ongoing joke here on the channel that they include an AEW microphone with every single figure but it continues to be here and I like it you know it's a it's a little minuscule amount of money I'm sure to include these so I guess the more the merrier in this case but we have an AEW microphone again we also get these sunglasses now I'm going to be honest they're pretty flimsy just for a bit of context here's the Penelope Ford glasses and these these are much more stiff and have like actual, you know, they're actually like thickums. Like they're not just going to like be pliable. These are pretty pliable. Like they're pretty like soft rubber almost. And they don't really fit the head sculpts. I'm going to be real with you here. Like this one right here, this isn't going on here. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not going to just hug on there. And you can lift up the, like you can't lift this up. So it's pretty much impossible to put these glasses onto this head sculpt. And then if you come over to the other head sculpt, you can put this on here. But I had to like lift this hair 
up, and then like on this side, there's like a little indention right here, but it doesn't really fit well. And you can like kind of get it on there, but it's not. Uh, let me get this in here the best I possibly can. So there it is, and it's still not like on there, on there, but I guess you could pass it for like display or figure photography. But I did have to like almost kind of peel the hair up just a little bit here and uh, put that on there. So I guess it's not horrific, but I, I don't know. I, it doesn't work for all the head sculpts, and now they're kind of okay. There you go. So you know, the sunglasses aren't the best, but they are included. One of my favorite accessories this time is the removable necklace. Now, we did see this on the Series 5 Unmatched Kenny, but it was sculpted on, and it was a little bit smaller, but I really like this. I like the chain here on the sculpt. I like the medallion. I don't know what the, you know, what the, I don't know what this necklace is supposed to be, but I really enjoy it. I think it looks good, and you can remove it, so you don't have to have it in there, but I think it adds to the promo gear and stuff like that, and I think it's a nice addition. I'm, I'm glad to have the necklace. We also get a plain black v-neck t-shirt that, you know, we've seen Kenny Omega wear that on AEW television, but really cool here that it's not like, you know, one of his shop AEW shirts. You know, you can get this anywhere, really. You can go to Walmart and find this shirt. You know, it's just plain black v-neck. I'm not really a big fan of v-necks. I've worn my fair share of v-necks over the years, but I don't like, I feel like I'm like exposed or something. Like, I don't know. I just don't like the way it feels. I, I don't know. I, I must, I much more prefer a circular collar on my shirts, but it is a nice texture. It's pretty thick. And we'll take a look at what this thing looks like on the figure at a later date. But it does have Velcro, like, by a later date. I mean in the video. We're going to take a look at what it looks like on the figure. But I do want to wait until we look at all the different options. So stay tuned for that. But you do get a black shirt. You also get some interchangeable head sculpts. Now, I'm going to be real. This one looks a bit weird, at least zooming in. Like, I feel like when you look at it really close, it looks a bit odd. And he almost kind of looks like a demon possessed or something like that. But he's got his blue eyes in there. Blonde and brown hair mixed together. We did get both of these head sculpts last time on the Supreme Collection Kenny Omega except this head sculpt had blue hair from like his heel run and then this head sculpt had more of like uh, similar to this but it was more brownish and black instead of this light blonde but here is what you get with this figure and then here's what you got with the last Supreme Collection with like the blue and the black. So we are getting the same head sculpt. Looks like this one's much better repainted. But yeah, so you get the same head sculpt with different hair color. And then here's the one you get with this figure. And then here's the one from the last. So I don't know. It's not horrific. I would have preferred them include the other head sculpt with this one. I would have preferred this head sculpt over this expression. I like this one the most, I think. But I still like it. I think these are pretty cool. And I'm glad to have at least two different expressions. I think they're solid. They're not my favorite Kenny Omega head sculpts. I think this one looks more like Kenny on the right, but uh, I, I like them. They're not horrific, but uh, definitely better likenesses than this one over here, but this is probably the one that looks the most like Kenny here. Now, before we get into the interchangeable pants and arms, I do want to get into the interchangeable hands. So, you do get interchangeable fisted hands. You get a pair of mic holding or weapon holding or whatever the hell holding style hands you want to say, but these are your kind of object holding hands. You also get a pair of the offhand shooting hands. So, while the other hand's shooting, you have the offhand here, but this can be used for a lot of stuff. Like, going out for a handshake is kind of what it looks like, or raising your hand. There's a, there's a lot of different options you can do. Kind of like, I mean, they kind of look like they're relaxed hands, like hands down by your side, so you can use that as well. And then, last but not least, you get a right shooter hand right here, which I really enjoy. It's my favorite interchangeable hand that you get. These are what complete Kenny Omega figures, I think. I just love this hand. Never stop it. What are you doing? No, no, don't... Don't shoot! So as far as the interchangeable arms go, this is the base leather jacket that does go over the torso. Now, a lot of people may think this is just the same accessory that we got with the Series 4 Omega, but it's not, man. This has more details in it, as you guys can see here. You guys can see, like, the texturing and the leather and stuff. And then on the back, you get the one wing for the one winged angel, obviously. But you do have... Got the one wing there, which is cool. And these are not the same accessory. So this is the one that came with the Series 4. They're not the same. They are painted the same. But you guys can see they added some sculpt here. There's more going on with it. And this is, like, a thick, like, not as flexy, like, cheaply feeling accessory as the Series 4 entrance vest. So if you guys were wondering about that, that is the case here with this accessory. But here's the torso, completely separated from everything, but you do get your jacket arms, which have some nice sculpture to them, as you guys can see here. So this is the left arm, as you guys can see. It has, like, all this stitching and all of this stuff going up the arm with the sculpt. Looks really, really good, man. So you have bo both matching arms here that do plug in. And what you'll do is you'll take your jacket, and you can't put this over it. And people are 
going to probably say, you know, can you put the shirt on there and then put the jacket over the shirt? And I guess you could, but the sleeves, this is not a sleeveless shirt. So you guys know that if you put this arm in there, so then when you plug in the arms, if you were to plug that in, the sleeve would overhang right here. So that's just, I probably wouldn't recommend that. I guess you could do that if you wanted to, but I don't know. I feel like it would look odd, but there is the jacket with the, uh, you know, the interchangeable arms in there and it looks really damn good, man. I think it looks really slim. This is the kind of look you want to have. You don't want that big puffy Mattel basic look. You want it to look slim and fitting and nice. And I think that accomplishes the job right there. I think this looks really, really good. And then outside of that, you know, if you don't want him in the jacket, you can remove all of this. And then you are also giving white wrist tape wrestling regular arms. So you can do that right there, which is really good. Now, the thing that a lot of people have been saying is if you want to put this shirt on him, he still has wrist tape on. So that'll look a bit odd. We're going to look at all the different looks you can achieve with this Kenny Omega. Shirt on, shirt off, shirt on, jacket on, jacket off, all those different things. Jacket off. <laughs> But there's the wrestling arms right there, or the, you know, the wrist tape arms. So there are your two options for your interchangeable arms. Again, we're going to look at all the different combos you can do with this guy. But then you also, with the Supreme Collection, this is their whole gimmick that they're known for, where you can plug and play your torso. So you do get the wrestling gear attire, and then you get the street gear or the blue jeans. And we've gotten Kenny Omegas in both of these. So seeing both of these here is really awesome to get a two-in-one. So getting into the tights, I don't know for certain. But I want to say this is also Demon Slayer inspired. I know we got the one Demon Slayer gear on the last Supreme, but I think this is also Demon Slayer inspired. I could be wrong, but it kind of looks like Shinjiro, I think his name is, from Demon Slayer. I again, I could be wrong. I'm just kind of throwing a Hail Mary there, but you guys can see Kenny Omega wears a lot of airbrushed and printed on style tights, and I think they do a great job of replicating them in figure form. So looking at the tights here, you guys can see going down, you got the knee pads in there, all the different graphics. Really insane. You know, Kenny Omega is very toyetic, and all of his tights look really good, so this you know, I don't really know exactly what I'm looking at, but I think it looks badass. I think it's a great looking gear. He does a really good job on his gears and stuff. So there's the wrestling gear. We've seen this before, you know, all the different, with the Unmatched Series 1, the Unrivaled 4, the first Supreme, we got to see some of this stuff. So we're pretty used to seeing really cool Kenny Omega gears in figure form. And then you have the jeans version, which is really cool. And if you get in here, you guys can see that it is pretty much like skinny jeans almost. And it's really cool to have all these sculpts here. You guys can see there with the fly and you guys can see the belt loops. And then you have all of this stuff with the patches and the rips and the jeans and all of this has like this dry brush over it that really captures that jean look gives it a lot of depth and i think it looks awesome so don't get any lower leg cut which isn't the biggest deal because we actually do get a shoe rotation there so that does save that for me and it's all pinless you guys can see all the rips you got the kenny omega ass cheeks right there i guess that's aew's ass right there you know how you have america's ass this is aew's ass so you do have kenny omega here spinning around and then you got the white kicks there and these are pretty accurate i'm pretty sure the shoe he's worn. I've checked them out and they look to just be like kind of generic all white kicks. One thing I've noticed about this articulation though is I can't really get this to articulate beyond that. Okay, this one's better. Maybe it's this one that's stuck. Yeah, this one's a little bit more stuck but nonetheless, you do get some cool articulation here. These pants look fantastic though. Like all in all, I'm loving all the stuff you're getting. But now that we have seen both tights, let's go ahead and show off all the different ways you can display this figure. So this is why I say I need seven of these for all these different options we're about to go through. But here is shirtless wrestling style Kenny with the happy head sculpt. I mean, if you throw in both head sculpts, you throw in the shirt, you throw in the shirtless, you throw in the different lower halves. I mean, you can legitimately probably, if you mix and match, you can probably get like 20 or 30 different looks out of this one figure, which is insane, but... Here is the shirtless wrist tape with wrestling gear. Here is shirtless with wrist tape in the jeans. Really like this look as well. Here's the wrestling gear with the black V-neck on with the necklace. Now, one thing I'll say is this t-shirt material is pretty thick, so you can't really get the arms to go all the way down because of this material here. So it doesn't look bad or anything. It's definitely worth noting, though, so you guys can know you won't really be able to move the arms all the way down. But there's the shirt with the wrestling tights. Here's the black v-neck shirt with the necklace on the jeans, and this is what I was talking about. You guys can see, it doesn't look horrible or anything like that. It is a certain look that you could do if you wanted to. And also adding, I have no idea if this shirt stains. I'm taking a lot of risks right now showcasing this. I'm going to wait and find out. Uh, on a, I'm going to put this shirt on a random figure just to see if it'll stain it. I guess that'll be, you know, remain to be seen. But you guys can see here he has wrist tape here, and he probably wouldn't be wearing wrist tape if he was wearing, you know, this shirt with the jeans. So that's just worth noting. But 
but I guess you could acetone that off if you wanted to, but I don't know. That, that's just something you'll have to make for your own self, but here's the jeans with the t-shirt. And then here we have the wrestling tights with the entrance jacket or the leather jacket on there, and I kept the necklace on there because I feel like he'd probably have the necklace on. If he has the jacket on, he may have the necklace on, and I, I mean, I guess that's not completely true. He literally is wearing this jacket with these tights on the back of this packaging, and he doesn't have the necklace on, but I thought it added a little bit of dimension to it, so I kept it on there. But there is the tights with the leather jacket, and then here's the leather jacket on the torso with the necklace on the jeans, and I really like this as well. I could easily see the, you know, Kenny Omega wearing this. I feel like I've seen him in this exact getup on AEW television, cutting a promo, especially back, you know, when he was on his big heel run there as champion, so I don't know. I like all these looks, man. I think it's really awesome. I, I Again, I, I feel like I need so many of these for the interchangeability and the, the pose around and just all that different stuff, but just a full 360 here. Very, very cool figure, man. Just so cool to see all these different looks of it. And I also have one other thing I want to try because I have a custom muscle tee that I want to put on here just to kind of look at it and show you guys what it looks like. And then we have this custom fix-up version, man. Look at this right here. I put my custom muscle tee bullet club shirt from PWR Lucha. I believe my boy Giovanni sent me this shirt. Dude, look at how badass that looks. Look at all this dimension this gives this figure, man. The necklace, the leather jacket, the jeans, the head sculpt. This is money right here, man. And don't give me, hold up, hold up, hold up. Insert the Elite Championship right here, man. Look at this right there. Dude, look at that right there. Look at the cleaner. Look at the Elite Champion. You're gonna tell me that's not, uh. Dude, look at how... How damn clean that is, man. Oh, how iconic. The elite champion, Kenny Omega, with the Bullet Club shirt, the jacket, the jeans. Ha! <sighs> yeah, this is money, man. If this didn't sell the figure. I mean, I know it doesn't come with the Bullet Club shirt, but look at the possibilities, man. You'd have to be crazy not to consider the possibilities. But now that that's done, let's look at some AEW Supreme Collection Walmart exclusive Kenny Omega figure comparisons. So for your AEW Supreme Collection Kenny Omega figure comparisons, you do have the... AEW Supreme Collection Series 2 Kenny Omega here with the AEW and Match Series 1 head sculpt on it. And then you have the alternative gear here. Yes, I own multiple copies of this Supreme Kenny. So I have the one version here with the heel look, you know, with the duster on there. And then I do have this version here which is probably my favorite look. I just love this gear. Looks so badass, especially with this head sculpt. I just think this is so clean. But you guys can see here with the comparisons. I mean, when it's all said and done, dude, there's so many Kenny Omega gears we have, and there's so many more Kenny Omega figures they can release. But something I found really interesting is because we have this duster here, this is still interchangeable. You can pull the arms off of your old Kenny Omega. You can pull this out. And if you pull out both sides, if you guys can see where I'm going here, I'd probably remove the duster to pull the arms off, to be honest with you. With you, but so putting the duster on here, you could easily come in, slide these jacket arms in here, and now look at that, Brad. You have a freaking entrance jacket on your Kenny Omega, and the arms are a little bit slim, but I think you could get away with that. You know, if you really wanted to. Look at that right there. Now you got an entrance jacket, Kenny Omega. Pretty cool, man. Not something you really think about. And uh, I don't know. It's not really accurate to nothing he's done, I don't think. But I still think it's it's relevant. Look at that right there, man. I got a full-fledged entrance jacket, Omega. But then here are all three of them in just the wrestling gears. This is all three wrestling gear options for your Supreme Collections for your Kenny Omega. So you have, you know, both options from the first Supreme Kenny and then you have the middle option here with this current Walmart exclusive. And if you're a Kenny Omega figure comparisons, you do have all of our Kenny Omegas that we've seen across the Unrivaled, Unmatched. You know, we've seen, I think this is every single release besides the Shop AEW exclusive, which is pretty much the Unrivaled Series 4 with a t-shirt, which is over there on the shelf. But you have the Unrivaled Series 1A, the Unrivaled Series 1B, the Ringside Exclusive, Exploding Barbar Deathmatch, the Ringside Exclusive, AEW Dynamite Ring Kenny, the GameStop Exclusive, the Supreme Heel Attire, the Supreme Demon Slayer attire, the Unrivaled Series 4, the Unmatched Series 1, and the Unmatched Series 5, and of course the Supreme Collection Walmart exclusive in the middle here in the wrestling gear. So we have seen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Kenny Omega attire so far as far as tights and actual wrestling gear, and then you have all of these so far released to us. Not including the jeans look if you wanted to, you know, do your Supreme Collection half of this figure. But I love it, man. I love all the Kenny Omegas. I love Kenny Omega. I love collecting his figures, like I said. So many damn options for these. And I have one more thing that I want to do with all of these figures. But I also want to do some more comparisons with this guy. But holy smokes, man. This is such a dream. Absolutely beautiful to see this. And then for your comparison with the rest of our AEW Supreme Collection, we have the Series 1 Cody Supreme Collection, the Walmart Exclusive Supreme Collection Cody, the Series 2 Kenny Omegas, 
both sides of that. The Britt Baker Series 1, the Malachi Black Series 2, and then the Series 3 Lucha Bros up next to our Walmart exclusive Kenny. I'm waiting for more Supremes, man. I love these figures. They're so fun. They're so awesome. We need more. I need more. I really like it. I need more. And then for your WWE Ultimate Edition comparison with the Supreme Collection Walmart exclusive Kenny Omega, you do have the Ultimate Edition Mattel Creations Cody Rhodes, the Ultimate Edition Series 17 Seth Rollins, the Ultimate Edition Series 16 AJ Styles, and then we have the Ultimate Edition Series 3 Finn Balor. All of these really scale nicely with each other. I don't really have any issues with it. I think all of them look great across the board. I think you can put on five star classics with all these guys and you're not gonna you're not gonna skip a beat. I think all of them scale well, look really, really nice, at least in this in this viewing right here. So I'm all for it. And then for your MDT, stop being a dumbass and go finish the pick fed comparison. We have the Elite Champion Kenny Omega up next to the Ultimate Edition Demon Finn Balor by themselves. And this looks like immaculate. Got butterfly joints on this guy. We really do need an updated Finn Balor though and butterfly joints, but this this right here is money, man. Look at that right there. Uh... And then before we get out of here, one last thing I want to do is I want to take the Unmatched Series 1 head sculpt, pop it on here with the jacket and the arms and necklace, and then pop this upper half onto all the different Kenny Omega lower halves that we have. So here is the regular Walmart exclusive gear. Here's the heel gear with the leather jacket. And of course, I mean, you could, you know, you could pop this head sculpt. You don't want this on here with this specific look. You could pop the, uh... You know, you could pop this head sculpt on here or one of the heel head sculpts with the blue hair or something like that if you wanted to. That'll change it up a little bit just so you guys can see exactly what you're getting here. Again, man, it's all about the options. It's all about these different looks that you can obtain with this Supreme Collection, mixing and matching your figures. And then here's the jacket with the Unmatched Series 1 head sculpt on the Supreme Collection Series 2 Kenny Omega. Here it is on the Unrivaled Series 4. And when you put the Supreme abs or upper onto like these older unrivaleds it is a little bit loose so you may have to play around with that but it's not like egregiously loose i don't think so I, you know i think you can get away with that for display and stuff and then you have the unmatched series one gear with the leather jacket and this just looks like you put a leather jacket onto the unmatched series one right there so that looks immaculate right there so so many different options man what are we doing with ourselves then here's the ringside exclusive kenny omega with the ring with the leather jacket on there this one's actually pretty underrated that looks badass man Good stuff right here. And then you have the Series 1 tights or pink and black gear with the black jacket, which is also very fire, man. So you really can't go wrong with any attire choice you choose. I mean, you are playing with fire. And then for shishes and gigs, here is my custom Bullet Club Cleaner Kenny Omega AEW figure with the Supreme torso and jacket on here. And this right here is going to get people going right there, man. Look at that right there, dude. That looks freaking amazing. Look at these tights right here. I got this custom off of off of Instagram, I do believe. I can't remember exactly what I bought. I think I bought it from my bro, Muscle Bro Figs. That looks amazing as well, dude. Holy shish. Maybe it's, I can't remember who I bought it from. I apologize for that. But this looks immaculate. And then the last thing I want to do is take the promo gear Kenny Omega from the Supreme Collection we have here and compare it to the Unmatched Collection Series 5 and see if you can put this on this lower and this on this lower just to see if you guys want to put the more detailed pants with this upper or, you know, play around with that. But there they are. The jeans are slightly different. They are different sculpts. They look to be different sculpts. You got a lot more going on with the Supreme than over here and you have lower shin cut here, but... Let's go ahead and see if we can swap these over. I think you should be able to. I don't think you're going to run into any issues doing that. But here is the other pants right there. And you're going to notice there is a little bit of a gap there because this uh, Unmatched Series 5 has a little bit of a t-shirt over flap. But uh, that looks to work if you want to put that on there. that uh, I'm not noticing anything weird about that. So you could easily put the Supreme Legs onto this Unmatched Series 5 if you wanted to. So, I mean, dude, the world's your oyster with this, with this thing. You have so so many different options, so many things you can play around with. Choose your own Kenny Omega. Choose your character, man. I mean, this is unfreaking believable how much stuff you can do with this Kenny Omega. And I may have just you know, graze the tip of the iceberg in this video. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Walmart exclusive AEW Supreme Collection Kenny Omega figure review. Dude, this figure has all the bells and whistles that I love. I, I mean, this is just one of the best AEW figures they'd put out, I think. I mean, it's certainly up there. I don't know if I like this one more or the original Supreme Kenny. You know, with that one, you got two wrestling gears. With this one, you get a street attire and wrestling gear. And you guys know how I feel about street gears and like figures that are in their backstage attire or their promo gear. 
here. Like, that is some of my favorite things about figures, especially AEW figures. I think they do that right. You guys know that two of my top favorite figures last year... Two of the best figures last year from Jazzwares was the Suited Cody and the Series 5 Omega that you guys saw in this video. So, those are the kind of figures I really, really enjoy, and I just think this is a beast of a figure. I enjoy all the accessories. You don't get as many head sculpts with this guy, you know. I think that if you missed out on the last Supreme Kenny, then definitely try to grab this one. I don't know what that Supreme Kenny's going for, but I'm a massive Kenny Omega fan. I love his figures. I like collecting him and getting all these different looks of him. And so, for me, it's a, it's a no-brainer. You know, I'm purchasing this, no doubt. But I will would buy this. You know, if, you, if you've missed out on other Omegas, they've made so many damn good ones. This is one that you should purchase. I think you get a lot on the bone there. You get the championship. You get the necklace. The leather jacket. I mean, there's so many things you can do here, man. I mean, I am getting so many cool vibes from this figure. And not to mention, if you don't like any of the gears he comes with, man, you can pop this torso and leather jacket onto other Kenny Omegas we've seen before. Like, that is an option. You can do those things. So, that's what makes these figures really, really fun. I mean, Supreme Collection figures are some of my favorites. I can't wait for Series 4. I hope that, you know, this line continues to thrive because I enjoy these figures so much and the playability and the interchangeability. So, I look forward to more Kenny Omegas. Omegas, more Supreme Collections, and I think this one is a boss. I really enjoy it. But I would love to know where you guys stand on this figure down in the comment section below. Do you guys prefer this one or the Series 2 regular edition that we saw last time with Malachi Black? And also, are they going to do a... I guess we're going to find out this weekend at FanFest. They are going to reveal some stuff this weekend at FanFest at Double or Nothing. Are we going to get a Penta or Ray Phoenix Walmart exclusive because they've been doing one figure out of each wave to be a Walmart exclusive. Are they going to do that for Series 3? We'll have to see, but that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below, and also a huge shout-out to our patron army. If you guys are interested in joining the MDT Patreon, check out the link in the description below. Constantly in the works, trying to improve it over there and trying to get the most out of it as possible, but I appreciate you guys so very much. That is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Leave a like if you have not already. Try to get this bad boy to a thousand likes if you guys are a Kenny Omega fan. I'm getting out of here, guys. See you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never back down. We will not relent.